Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play of The Witcher 3 Hearts of Stone. In the last episode we recruited Evelyn Gallo to our little heist and we got started basically. We uh, broke into the auction house, had a bit of a barney, took some hostages and yeah. So we are now about to try and find the vault. Uh, Quinto has opened the door so we need to enter it. First things first though is we're going to have a quick look around and see if there's anything we can loot down here. Surely there is. Probably a lot of books. Red. Read it. Read it. Uh, we can also sell these anyway and get a bit of coin for them which is always good and we have something here as well list of objects in need of restoration okay so let's take a look at this no we don't want to do it yourself it's this one list of objects in need of restoration in preparation for the upcoming auction, I hereby certify the receipt of the following items entrusted to me for restoration. Elven Porphyritic Statue of Erlin, sculpted by an unknown master. Lady draped with hung fox, oil painting from the atelier of Master Van de Nob. Jedi Statue et of Goose Girl and sev seven accompanying geese figurines. Pipe carved of cherry wood with a ceramic stem, certified to have belonged to Nina Fiorianti. Pinewood trunk, ornamented brass elements, crafted by the workshop of Samson of Barnard. A painting by Van Rohe, the pseudonym associated with the work of Lady Iris von Everick. Oh. Hans van Meegeren. So that painting we bought, then sold to the book, uh, bookshop keeper in Novigrad was actually by Iris. Nice. Okay. What else do we have here? More books. Yep, definitely more books. We have something else here as well. What's this one? Request for payment. This document certifies that my principal, Emmett Lummendorf and Sons Company, registered in Chetagor, power of attorney forms attached, has authorised my office to make payment for services rendered, namely the forging and installation of doubly fortified and armoured doors fitted with Colossus brand locks for the vault of the Basordi Brothers Auction House in Oxenfurt. This document likewise constitutes a request for payment in the amount of 65,000 Novigrad crowns. <sighs> Pricey. Within two weeks of its receipt. If at the conclusion of said period no payment has been made, collection procedures will be initiated in the pro proper judicial channels. Robert Hilbert, Esquire. Okay. So these doors cost just a little bit. we have anything else we have uh, some uh, all right why is that one covered up what about here yeah, oh we've got something else here as well and more books to loot we make a bother three out of these books letter from master matthew dear master basodi i read to you concerning a most atypical matter but please do not dismiss it summarily. For both you and the institution you run are in great danger. Allow me to explain what I mean. It so happens that I am a renowned astrologist and teller of fortunes. In recent days, for evident reasons, I have been forced into hiding, but a small circle of loyal customers has, has been kept informed of my whereabouts. One of these customers is a lady of high birth. Her name I shall not disclose out of discretion. Said lady came to me with a request. She wanted to learn what price would be 
would be certain items that would sell for at an upcoming auction. After voicing my many objections, I nevertheless relented to the lady's request. But before you take offence at this interference in your business, please read to the end. For the cards I laid out for this lady told me something very important. The constellation of the cards clearly I, I indicated a wolf shall appear at your doorstep and you shall not let him enter. But he shall nevertheless find a way inside. He shall enter your house and take your house from you. I saw a tower struck by lightning and blood drinking blood. I believe you are extremely aware what that signifies. Am I not right? As, as, fair, warned, as fair reward for this warning, please, send, please hand a sum of 2,000 crowns to the man delivering this message. My sincerest respects, Master Matthew. Well, that's pretty much come true, hasn't it? I mean, a wolf did come to the door. He wasn't really allowed in, but he got in thanks to uh, Vivaldi. He was then thrown out. So, yeah, we got in through the tower, and we are now going to, yeah, we're now going to go and find his house. I'm going to take it from him. Cool. Right, let's take a lot more. I'm sure there was more stuff down there that I could loot. Yeah, there's stuff over there. How do I get round there? Oh, Andrew, you idiot. You complete plank. Okay. I'm just going daft. Okay, Quinto. I thought you said you got this door open. Lovingly crafted. Two spring loaded bolts, cylindrical plugs, dameritian wards. I'm not interested. No one's interested. We go in. Geralt, you're at the fore. Why me? It's why I hired you. Now move. We've no time. Yes, boss. Mm -hmm. Do or die. Okay, now, first things first, is there anything else out here? I don't think so. I don't really like the fact that I'm going to go in here first, because, you know, that is going to mean trouble. Yeah, that's not going to collapse on us, is it? Oh, and look at that. Oh, here we go. Straight into it. Shit. If I haven't seen it in sight. I like it. Night time. Night time's cool. Ooh, you bitching. Come on then. Oh no, you don't. I. Oh, you, oh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Cause they'll come in and then I burn one. I'll try. Fail miserably. Damn you. You're gone. Die. Okay, fine. I don't mind that one bit. Cause now. I incinerate. Come on, where are you, you blighter? Come on. That's the one I have you now. Good night. That's it. 
What? I want to loot. Now, can I drop back down there and... Uh, can I? Uh, no. <laughs> that would be a no. Oh. oh, well. You don't know if you don't try, so. Yeah, de de definitely didn't work. That definitely didn't happen. We'll just skip over that. Okay. Right, let's uh, do some routine. Gold pearl necklace. Nice. Ooh, some wine. Ervalus. Not bothered about the Nilfgaardian lemon, but the Ervalus is good. Now, what else do we have that we can swipe? Same paintings were on the block. Yeah, so. Can't we take the paintings as well? Because that would be grand. Ooh, look at this lot. Same paintings were on the block. Yeah, we have. We are locked in here, well and truly. Nah, I won't. Come on. Thank you. No, we won't. You've got to find us first, and you don't know who we are because we are wearing masks. Cool, just getting some stuff here. Getting some good stuff. Anything up top? No. Really? I think we do. Right, guys. Come on then. Problem, you don't know who you're fucking with. Really? On the contrary, I know all too well. Yeah. You all? Greetings, brother. Oh. Well, well. Complications, complications. Yeah. You could say that. You owe us an explanation, I think. You old. Think you owe us an explanation, you old Borsodi. This family reunion. What's the point? Revenge. For betrayal. Years of poverty. Humiliation. Father left the auction house to me. In his will, Horst cheated me, had me disinherited. Anything, everything we earn, you squandered on cards and whores. Father didn't see that, I did. That's no excuse, Horst. It won't save your life. You two, stand with me. I'll not let the Redanians lay a hand on you, give you whatever you want. Uh, I don't think I like either of these two. At all, Horst or you old. Uh, I could let him get on with it. I could go over to horse size, horse size, but I'm going to stick with you old, I think. Because horse was a real trick to us earlier. So, yeah, it can't bribe me. A desperate attempt at bribery going once, twice, thrice. Mm, no takers, no sale. Speak for yourself. Tempting offer. I've succumbed. Quinto. You'll pay for that, Quinto. With your head. At them. Oh, marvellous. Uh, give him a bit of axe. A uh, bit of hard. Get off of this way. Quinto. Oh, no, he didn't. Even budge. Oh, get. 
Oh, shoot, man. Pirouette. Quinto, you're down, mate. That's what you get for being a git. See, so don't even slow him down now. Does Axie? Oh shit, nearly. Oh, you bitch. That was a pummeling for him. Oh, and me. You're burning, pal. Post. You're going down, mate. Take a bit of that. Ooh. Get over. Ooh. Oh, now it works. I'd have preferred to resolve this elsewise. Stolen the scrolls, thrown you out into the street. Revenge is best served cold after all. But I don't mind serving it hot. This guy is. I beg you. Mercy for your brother. I should have been out of order, actually. Truly. Anything. Anything. Sign over to me. Or if you want. Then walk out as you stand with just the clothing on your back. Allow me one thing. Any one thing. Fifteen years. In the sewers. Like a beast, and you the cheek to plead. Oh. Wow. Oh. Satisfied? Exceptionally. You? Not really. No, and I won't be until I find Max Brasotti's house. In this vault, or so you said. And it is. There. But I fear it's not yours for the taking. Oh, whoa. You see... It houses my father's will. A scroll thanks to which Ewald Borsodi, long missing, will assume the family fortune. And Geralt of Rivia, who you cheated, what will he assume? Alas, but he's free to choose anything else. Uh, Don't no. provoke me. Never know. Might choose to take your head. You're wounded. Tired. Figure my chances are good. Uh, I don't think so. Nah, dumb decision, but have it your way. I want him gone. The sword is auction house can shrivel up and die. Hmm. Dumb, but have it your way. Let's make this quick before the soldiers get down here. As I said, Don't go cheating me, mate. At your service, mate. Come on then. Damn it, I knew that was coming, I was too slow. Yeah, I love Tony Owl at night. You can't beat the damn thing, it's marvellous. Oh, just. Yeah, you're not gonna get a shot off, another shot off anyway. Ooh. 
should have just left him to burn then while I had a chance. There we go. Oh, took his legs off. Yeah, that's one way of doing it. I'm taking whatever I want. Don't go cheating me. You know, not do it again. Yeah, Route City. Route City. Yeah, successful heist. We get rid of everybody else, we can take the lot. Ah, that's what I like to see. Let's get in the back here. Or try. See what else we can take. Miss something or not, here we go. Can't go missing anything here. I don't know why the music is still playing. The battle music. Yeah, I think that's all that section noted now for around here. Oh, it's just little rubbishy stuff here, I think. Now, what's behind here, though? That is the question. Come on. No? Why can't I loot that? Let me loot it, if you don't mind. Will that stop the music? No. No, that's not going to play that one, unfortunately. Get over. Hey, Geralt, do as you told. Thank you. Right, what do we have around here? A fiery crossbow. Nice, we'll be taking a look at that in a minute, I think. Oh, Viper Venomous Steel Sword Diagram. Nice. We will take that in a minute. We'll come back for that. Pearl. Cool. And another one. And a vial. Oh, dear. All I can say is money, money, money. Anything in this corner? No. Down this end? No? Okay then, so let's go and get the uh, our little house for Olgird. Yeah, where is it? How the... Oh, there we go. But how do we open the secret passage? That is the question. Uh, air seeping through the cracks. Passage must be here. How do I open it? There must be a switch somewhere. Maybe on one of these pillars? Uh, not on this one that I can see. How about this one? Here we go. Nick of time. Now to get out of here. Yep, leg it time. Right now, see what we've got in here. Nothing there. Let's just get out. Come on, let's have yet. Oh, we have something. Probably not much though. No, I didn't think so. No, 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 Geralt, Geralt, get yourself back up here. Yeah. Oh, 
Right. Here we go. Here's our exit. Ooh, might as well uh, loot this lot while we're here. Something else there, then. Oh, there's a ladder up. Hmm. Anything else in here? What's it? What's the? Oh, it takes us straight out onto the street. Nice. Okay, so what we need to do now is head and see all geared to let him know we've completed these tasks. As I think we have both of them to uh, tell him about. Yeah, because I thought might as well just go and see him once and tell him about them both. So I think we need to head to the inn, don't we? Alchemy Inn? Not in your way. There we go. What the hell's going on here? Alright, all geared. What are they doing? Overgrown wains, you see. Have you any children, Geralt? Uh no. Well, kind of. Oh yes. Forgot witches is sterile. Well don't just stare at me. Tell me what brings you. Well, you should know, really. Uh, let's talk to him for a bit here. How did that Ophiri prince turn into a monster? I keep wondering how you turned the Ophiri into a beast. The more I think about it, the more I'm sure it was no run-of-the-mill curse. This professional curiosity, or nosiness, is common as the clap. Desire to improve. <laughs> Information could prove useful down the line. In the future, you under the delusion you'll complete your tasks. Live happily ever after. Well, we've done it too. to be seen. So for now, admit it. Mage helped you, right? I'll give you a hint. You're not the only one to fulfill wishes around here. No, gone. Oh, didn't kind of. Transform the Ophiri. It was your wish. Nay. It was my doing alone. But you're right. It was no ordinary curse. Though I'll say no more. A curse I uttered in a moment of rage, with no thought to it actually taking hold. Uh, alright, so that's a rather... Have we actually talked to him about these? I think we may have. Oh, Tuss, I'd say it's a nice saber it's got anyway. I've seen a saber like that. What's its origin? A fear. It was a gift. Any mm. soft-armed craven can hang a blade from his belt. Prance about feigning danger. But my saber's a promise. If I reach for it, Heads will roll. Mere sight of it quells the urge to duel in Shaver's eager to face Olgier von Everick, the infamous outlaw. My medallion seems to think it's magic. <laughs> it thinks, eh? And I think you've never seen a better weapon. I bet he ended up getting it from the fairy prince. Now, it's interesting company you uh, keep. <coughs> <coughs> Some interesting specimens. Interested? How so? Common carouses are roughnecks. Every last one. Where'd you dig them up? Some have been with me ages. Others are gathered on the road. And a few fell me themselves. They're company for drink and sport, at least. And ever since I began travelling with them, my old enemies have sat quiet as molds. And you under fear? Curious about the king there? Tell me, how'd you meet the Ophiri you turned into a beast? Aren't you a nosy one? What's it matter? You like to talk about yourself. That I cannot deny. Ophiri was a Dauphin on a voyage through lands unknown to learn of their cultures and customs. He fell for her, lass. As it happened, this woman was already important to me. 
But at the time, I was now compared to a noble from a foreign land. So her parents promised her hand to the Afiri, though she loved me. If you'd only seen it, feeble attempts at charm. When she asked why he travelled disguised as a common merchant, he said he was like the frog from the fairy tale. One kiss from her, and he turned into a priest. Wanted to be a frog. Became a frog. Oh, okay, okay. Right, what we'll do is Come before on. we before we talk to him about the quests, we'll uh, take a break and we'll go through that in the next episode. So until then, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.